Hey everybody, it's Micah Growl here, and I would like to give a message to all of the liberals out there, all of the pathetic uh, crybabies that have been <clears throat> littering YouTube for weeks now. I would tell you to stop, but I really can't since you're... you're um, your pathetic videos are my main source of entertainment, but the message I want to give to you is this. Get over it. Donald Trump is your president. In let me let me explain something to you you social justice warriors and you liberals out there and you little whiners who throw a fit because you didn't get your way. On January 20th, 2017, you're going to realize that Donald Trump is a great president. You're, you're going to start seeing changes for the better. You're going to see your taxes drop dramatically. You're going to see our military be built up. Instead of torn down as it's been under Obama. And you're going to to realize that, hey, maybe Donald Trump wasn't such a bad choice after all. But no, you people are, are, I mean, look, there's no helping you people. You know, you, you obviously have your mind made up and you are really, really, it's almost like your mind is set in stone. But I don't think it's going to be because the truth is, is that like I said, once you see the positive change that Donald Trump is going to bring about, once you see your taxes drop, once you see your military be rebuilt, once you see that you're going to have a choice in health care again, you're going to think, Huh. Hey, maybe this guy wasn't so bad after all. You know, it's like that moment when you have a um, pet that you're really afraid of, right? So you have this pet and and you go ahead and, uh, you know, you, you, you're scared of it. But then the little dog comes up to you and you pet and you're like, Oh, you're not so scary. Or, you know, it's the same idea. See, right now... You're just terrified because you've been brainwashed. And look, you know, I get it. You've been brainwashed. You're scared. Look, I understand, okay? You're scared. You're terrified. But let me tell you something. You've been lied to. Okay? You've, you've been brainwashed by the media. But listen, you're okay. It's, you know, it's all going to work out for the best. Okay? Now, don't worry, don't worry. You're not going to die. We're not going to have World War III because Trump actually wants to work with Russia. You see what I'm saying here, kids? But no, I, th I think some of you, 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 you people who are, who are terrified, see, look, you're terrified for the wrong reasons. You've been brainwashed into thinking that 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 Donald Trump wants to start war. Listen, he doesn't want to start war, okay? As I'm saying, you you've been lied to. You've been traumatized by the media. But again, it's okay. See, listen here. Donald Trump loves women. He loves immigrants. His wife is an immigrant. He likes women. He likes Latinos. He loves whites. He loves black. He loves Mexicans. He loves everyone. So this notion that Donald Trump doesn't like women or, 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 or people of color, that's wrong, okay? You've been brainwashed. 
And I, and I, I would also like to send a message to the protesters and the people who want to get out of this country. Hey, protesters. Those of you who, who, who protest in the streets, go home. Go home. Get out of here. You know, there's nothing. Look, your protests aren't going to change a damn thing. Nothing's going to change. All you guys do is show the world why we voted against you. That's all you do. See, every time you protest, conservatives like me are reminded of how of how we made the right choice. We're reminded of why we voted against people like you. Hey, you want to burn your own towns? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, burn your own towns. See where it gets you, you protesters. See how you'll end up. Because I guarantee you, you'll, you'll end up in prison. <clears throat> now, uh, a message to, to those of you who want to leave the United States. Pack your damn bags. You know what? Look, those of you who are threatening to leave the United States, go. Pack your car. No, pack your suitcase. Throw it in the back of your car. And then book it to the nearest airport and take the take the first flight out of here. I don't care. You know, book it to the nearest airport and take the first flight out of here. We don't want you here anyway. Especially you, Miley Cyrus. You good for nothing slut. Miley Cyrus. Pack your bags and leave. Get out. Go. Bye bye. Just go. I'm serious. Pack your car, pack your suitcase, and book it to the nearest airport. Just, bu just book it. You know, go go to your airline's website, book a flight. You know, and 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 just take that flight. Go, leave, book it, beat it. Do like Michael Jackson. Beat it, beat it, liberals. Beat it, progressives. Hey. You lost. Get over it. Surrender. Admit defeat. Oh, you know what your protest tells me? It tells me that you can't admit defeat. You just can't stand the fact that you that, that you were defeated. You you can't deal with it. Because you people have been have been just you've been babied your whole lives. And so when when the real world hits you, you can't deal with it. Hey, look, the real world is coming. The people have spoken. Oh, here's a little something to debase and completely destroy your argument that Donald Trump is going to start a war with Russia. Hey, guess what? Donald Trump said that he wants to make peace with Russia. In fact, Vladimir Putin congratulated Donald Trump shortly after the election and was the first one to do so. So don't give me all that garbage that Donald Trump hates Russia. He doesn't. He's been, you know, you, you've you been lied to. You, you, you've been lied to. And you bought it. Hook, line, and sinker. You bought it. Donald Trump likes Russia. He wants to make peace with Russia. He has, I mean, Vladimir Putin congratulated him. The Prime Minister of England congratulated him. The... The um, pr the uh, Prime Minister of Israel congratulated him. Putin said he's looking forward to restoring ties with the United States. So get over yourselves. 
All of you progressives, stop rioting. Stop destroying this country. And you know what? It, it, if you keep destroying it, you're just showing who you really are. All you're doing is proving to the world that we made the right choice. All you're doing is proving to the conservative movement that we made the right choice. And you're also showing how critical of a choice it was. Because it was. So, Miley Cyrus, Justin Bieber, uh, whoever else said they're moving, beat it. I, I bet if Michael Jackson were still alive, he'd tell you to beat it. So do it. Do like Michael Jackson said. Beat it. Get out. Leave. Go. Book it. Get in your car and haul ass. Go to the nearest airport. Book the book the first flight out of book the first flight out. Because then you can be on a flight with like-minded people and you don't have to and you don't have to worry about a Donald Trump presidency. There. There you go. There's your solution. Take the first flight out of this country so that you can be on a plane with like-minded people and you don't have to worry about a Trump presidency because you won't be here. You know what? America doesn't want you anyway, social justice warriors. We don't want you here. You want to book it to Canada? Go ahead, because they don't want you either. Oh, and ha have you people even thought about what you're going to do? Oh, I'm sorry. That'd be too much thinking for the average uh, liberal out there, for the average leftist dummy. So get out of my country if you do. Get out of this country if you hate it so much. You know what? Donald Trump is our president. Oh, what's the matter? You don't like it? You wanted that bitch, Hillary Clinton? You wanted her? Well, when, when? Too bad. Get over it. Why don't you man up and, and, and make something of your life instead of protesting and destroying this country? Why don't you actually get smart? Why don't you actually grow up and realize that you're not always right all the, all the time? So get over yourselves, liberals. You're done. You are done. It's over. Get over it. My name is Micah Growl. You can find me M-I-C-A-H-G-R-A-U-E-L. Look for me on Facebook with, with the same name. All right, so that's my rant. And I really hope that some of you social justice warriors and you left is filth. Take my advice. Bye.